let us now see good morning students let us now see the next chapter disaster management now the various news items about the disaster is shown in the given figure now see here the first one the abgha truck abghata tighan samrutyu so the accident had taken place then mahad bridge collapsed so there the bridge has collapsed then uh, this one cyclone in chennai then accident this one uh, train accident then aeroplane accident so all these disasters are news we read in the newspaper daily now the question is asked is it possible to prevent the loss of life caused by lightning now in rainy season it's common lightning is common and then we see also we hear or we read in the newspaper that many places the loss of life is there or the property is there due to lightning now it is possible to prevent the loss of life due to lightning by taking the provisions now what should be done to prevent the farm from getting washed away in the rainy season now during rainy season due to heavy rainfall there are chances that the far uh, this uh, the far, uh, land in the farm it can get washed away so for this you have to grow the trees and to make stone lines near the bunds and grow the grass strips along the farm so these grass strips and the trees roots will hold the will uh, hold the uh, soil and will not allow the soil to be washed out now why do we experience water scarcity now water scarcity is experienced due to less rain or no rain sometimes we see that there are there is less rain or sometimes there is no rain so naturally the water scarcity will be there so now also we have studied two types of disasters are there man made and natural so we know that the natural disasters means which occurs naturally and man made disasters occur due to the human beings or they occurs due to the carelessness of the human beings now examples of the natural disasters is cyclone heavy rains lightning cloud burst floods earthquake volcano these are all the natural disasters and the man made disasters are accidents then accidents then uh, mm, uh, this uh, is the example of the artificial disaster or the man made disaster now natural disasters such as famine lightning strikes cloud burst storms etc occur due to the changes in the weather so there is a possibility of the damage the possibility of damage to the property in such natural calamities now who is resp held responsible for it and how can we what can we do to deal with these losses that we'll be studying in this chapter so now let us first see about the first natural disaster famine now the condition that arises due to the long term or the severe scarcity of the food grains and the water is called as the famine now here in the picture you can see the water tanker has been ordered in farm due to the water scarcity is there so in summer season you must have seen on the tv or read in the newspaper that many places the water scarcity is there or in mumbai also so that time the water tankers are ordered by the people in order to fulfill the needs of water now famines they can be very severe although the main cause of the famine is a natural phenomena yet the famine is created by some human activities besides some natural events now think over this question what would happen if no food were grown during one whole year if no food is grown then there will be a food scarcity and that would lead to the famine now let us ne next see what are the causes of the famine now the causes of the famine are drought heavy rains and flood crops getting washed away or damaged in the flood 
environmental changes such as temperature change, storms, cold waves or fog, damage of crops by animals like mice and rats, attack of pests, locusts or the diseases of the crops, a natural calamity like earthquake etc are some of the causes of the famine. Now of these drought is the main cause. Now man-made causes of famine include war, the internal unrest, absence of transport routes, uncontrolled population growth, etc. Now, there are records of the loss of life caused by severe famines in various parts of the world. Now, Asia, it has turned out to be the fam most famine affected con continent in the world. We are the part of the continent Asia. The majority of the famines occurred in drought prone and flood affected regions. Among the most dreadful famines that have occurred in the world are the famines, famines that affected India and China because here we have the more population and naturally the consumption of the food grains is also more and compared to the rate at which the food grain is grown. So naturally here in China and, and in India the famine is, uh, famines are more. Now, famines are not a new phenomena. The problems of drinking water, food and fodder for animals date back to the historic times. Shiva Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj and Chhatrapati Shao Maharaj implemented many schemes to overcome the famines of their time. Now, their water supply <coughs> and water storage schemes are ideal even in today's circumstances. So, you, we can make use of these schemes to face future crises and disasters which will be of use not only in your own life in the future but also for society at large. Now, Malik Amar, he implemented a canal scheme for drinking water in Aurangabad. It still exists even today. Now, what can we do to ease the severity of the famine? So, for that what we must do, land usage of water and reuse of water, recycling, water recycling should be there and that recycled water from the kitchen or can be used uh, for gardening. Then proper planning of the water conservation and harvesting at the local level. Now, during rainy season, you must have seen that Due to heavy rains, water logging is there and most of the rain water it gets, it flows into the sea. So instead of that so far happening, what we should do, we should have the underground har water tanks or the rain water harvesting should be there. And that water which is stored in the underground tank that can be used for washing vehicles and for gardening. Then also by what uh, rainwater harvesting we can increase the underground water table because nowadays you must have seen everywhere the ties are being put so very less land is exposed to the rainwater or the concrete due to the concrete roads also the water is not absorbed by the soil so the underground water table it decreases and that's why it cannot be used. Now, making appropriate changes in the plants, taking into account the weather forecast and large scale of plantation of trees and prevention of deforestation. Now, due to the large plantation of tree, what a tree naturally more rains will be there. And so, and also appropriate changes in the plant should be made or means here the water cut should be there if the amount of water supply in the lakes or the rivers is less. So that all appropriate changes in the plan should be met. Now the next question is are we responsible for the famine? The answer is yes. Now water shortage is increasing as the balance between the rainfall and the population is disturbed. Now though there are there has been a very high rise in the production of food grains as a result of the green revolution. The balance of the environment has been lost due to use of chemical fertilizers, pesticides and weedicides. 
now unlimited lifting of water unlimited lifting of water means using the water then erosion of the land as less trees or the grass is there then the soil is not held and so the land uh, is washed away after upper layer of the soil is washed out then misuse of the water now misuse of the what now next we will see what the, the next disaster we will see about the cloud burst now what do you mean by the cloud burst that let us see now now what causes rain that all of you know the cloud causes rain now sometimes the water coming down from the rain from the uh, ray, uh, from the rain clouds does not reach the land in the form of rain instead due to very high temperature near the land it vaporizes and goes back to the same clouds now as a result what happens the amount of water vapor in this clouds become very high and due to rapid condensation it rains suddenly over a specific region and a small region at a rate of 100 millimeters per hour or more and this is known as cloud burst now here one example is given that the cloud burst occurred in lay on 6th august 2010 the cloud burst that occurred in mumbai on 26th august 2005 that was extraordinary that all of you remember the uh, this one so on that day it rained about 250 millimeters that is 37 inches in 8 to 10 hours and the entire city was waterlogged and flooded and then that is how that during from that time the people in mumbai they have become very aware or careful as soon as it starts raining heavily the schools or the offices are shut down and also the school children they are left home if it rains heavily so because that was the, day, the first time it occurred that heavy rains and water logging was there and many people got stranded on the roads or in the offices now the next question is why shouldn't we wait at the foot next we will hear when it is raining heavily now during heavy rain there is a chances of landslide and the flood so we should not wait at the foot hill now next disaster third disaster we will see is about the flood now what is meant by flood and what are the effects of the flood now we have already learned that floods and the effects of the floods now here we know what are the government of india it has established the national flood commission in 1976 the commission has made several efforts towards the control of the flood the plan regarding flood control is kept ready from national level to the village level and large scale damage of property and loss of life can be avoided because of this plan now let us see what are the protective measures in view of the floods so for the floods here we should construct small dams in mountainous regions then con construction of percolation tank percolation tanks means what the tanks underground tanks are made and the water is stored in that so naturally the water instead of flowing somewhere or causing the floods it would be absorbed by the soil by the earth and the underground water table will increase then making river beds flat then cultivation of the new forest then connecting rivers so by connecting rivers even if one of the river gets flooded the water will be flown into the other river so this is how the uh, these are all the protective measures to be kept in mind in order to protect the people from the floods now the next one is here this one lightning so now let us stop this one and next time we will see about the lightning